So part of our preparation for raids, or rather leeching raids, is to get a high enough cooking level to catch the bats, cook them, and eat them for points. I don't know how it will go, as I've actually never raided, uh, not once, not really. Uh, so I'm interested to see, you know, how it goes if we get any drops. If I'm evil, even able to grind out even 50 hunter. If I can get to salamanders, I can probably, you know, hit 60 or 70 pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do eagle's peak, because I'd rather just focus on doing hunter and not... Uh, too much, you know, worry too much about the profit. Uh, we'll worry about the profit in the long run. All right, here we have 30 cooking. This is where the gains really start to accumulate as we can cook tuna for a little more XP. It's 100 XP per, you know, one cooked, I believe. Um, and I know this is probably one of the cheapest uh, ways to get 99 cooking. It's not the way that we're going to do it if we go for 99 cooking, but we're going to start cooking uh, higher tier stuff once we get a chance to. So I think from tuna, I'll proceed into monkfish. Monkfish will honestly probably get us to where we need for raids. Um, that being, I'm just going to go 70 or 80 because I don't trust that I can get uh, any, any higher uh, hunter in the near future. I don't know, me and hunter just don't always see eye to eye. When I'm not doing salamanders, so we will see. I have just a little bit left of tuna or trout, rather. I'll finish that off before proceeding to tuna. So, yep, I guess a time lapse of uh, all the cooking levels. But I mean, who doesn't like just getting back-to-back -back levels in the chat box? It's such a nice feeling, guys. Such a nice feeling. And the total level has gotten to 820. So hopefully, we're able to get ranked pretty soon. There you go. See how quickly that is. 31 fish cakes. Oh, that's for Pirate Pete. We can uh, go start him, get the diving apparatus, and start giant seaweed uh, farming. JK, I am not going to do that because I can't be bothered right now. Alright, so we're approaching 50 cooking in about an hour or so since we hit 30. Uh, a little bit more since we're kind of doing this AFK. But we've cooked a little over a thousand tuna, I believe. So from 31, 32 or so uh, to 50 is only 1k tuna. It's really not bad, really cheap and expensive. Um, it's just a fantastic food to cook to level up cooking on the cheap. Okay, so I had to run back to the GE and buy a few more tuna. We are now level 60. We can do cure kits, bats. I don't know. Oh, hey, look, 850 total. That's really cool, too. Might as well. Do one more. There's that. Now we can go uh, actually start hunting, and that's really what's going to kill me here, because, like I said, I'm not the best hunter. I might just stay out there as long as it takes to get uh, 43 hunter. All right, guys, I'm doing my best to try to be efficient uh, doing early game hunter. I'm trying to get to 43. There's 27. We could do Eagle's Peak now, but... I don't know. I don't. I know I've got to recoil down a boss. It should be easy, but I'm just. I can't be bothered. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to get Hunter in. I'm losing traps left and right. Oh, dang. Two in a row. How often does that happen? Um, for me, I can bury the bones. For other skillers, not so much. You just cut these things. You set up the deadfall. What kind of sucks is you can only have one deadfall active at a time. Uh, it would be much nicer if I could use this deadfall as well uh, to get a bit more XP. Because right now what I'm doing is setting up one bird trap and one deadfall. A deadfall gets me 120 something XP while a bird trap is about 61 XP. Um, so I'm trying to play efficiently guys. I really am. I want this hunter grind over with. It's nice for the total levels, but it takes ages. Of course, of course, why would you not die? I need the XP, man. Hurry up. I guess this is a great way to train early game uh, woodcutting, but I'm already 65, so don't pay too much attention to the inventory. I was still trying to set things up. I planned on catching Ruby Harvest in the middle of all this, and I didn't know if I would need uh, the tinderbox or the chisel or the noose wand or the teasing stick. 
Um, yeah, so don't, don't look at that. That's not the efficient part, guys. This is the efficient part. Plus, at 37, I can move on to the uh, updated version of these, the spiked kebits. So I'm sure those will be a bit more XP, and it'll make the last few levels much easier to grind through. But I guess I'll be here for the next, I don't know, three hours, four hours. We'll see. All right, we just logged on, and we're getting back into the hunter grind. And I've noticed, we did it, boys. We got ranked. One Nana. It was either that or a smiley face. I'm happy with either. But at least this way we can show a little bit more uh, count progression um, as I level up and get increasing total levels. I can get increasing Nanas. Happy days. Happy days. All right. Coming in 35 Hunter, which is where we're going to have to break for now because I can't do another day of... AFKing Hunter and trying to get work done. It, just, it doesn't work for me. So I guess I'll just collect all these things, go sell them, and we should be back. I believe today we get a farming level. So it'll be nice. It'll be nice. So I'll see you guys then. Very dangerous farming run. Always very dangerous here. But it's worth it. 72. We can now actually do Calculus. <laughs> oh, wow. This is embarrassing. Actually, I can say this. Prayer. Having prayer is really nice for Karamja. It's really nice. 60 fletching coming in. Addy arrows. We're never going to do those. Let's get back to these maple longs. Uh, we will be going for a little bit longer. Uh, maybe another two hours or so. Um, or as long as I can sustainably keep fletching. Uh, so we'll probably end today at like 62, 63 fletching. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good grind session for fletching. It's a nice even number right now. Uh, can't wait to ruin that in the upcoming hours. All right, we have 35 Slayer coming in. We did a raid, we got a Dark Tome, and we got the stupid Torn Prayer Scroll. Ridiculous. So when I was doing raids, I went with Devotion CC. My cousin uh, Dylan is in it and raids there a lot, so they were really cool guys letting uh, me leech off of them. The first raid, I got zero points. Then I got like a thousand points. What I'm trying to say is there's no easy way to get points anymore. They cap all the points. It's ridiculous. I don't think it's uh, very viable, um, which unfortunately makes most of this grind irrelevant. Yeah. Thanks, Jagex. Coming in at 900 total level, quick update on the stats, 56 Hunter, we're just grinding these salamanders out here. This is the part of Hunter that I can vibe with. I Coming in with 57 Hunter, it's been a long grind, it's about to go real quick. I'm going to snap my fingers, we're going to have a great compilation at Sluffin. Nice. 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 All right, so I got here a little bit late, but this is Ryan's 99 construction party. So the drop party, we got a bunch of stuff, you guys. We got the dragon axe. We got about 800 or so molten glass. It's going to put a big dent into crafting. All right, congrats to you, man. I'm glad to see the clan coming out in force. All right, so we're going to need 21 construction to build the bank at Fossil Island. So I guess the grind has to start. Uh, hopefully I have everything to make these crude chairs. I think I need to make, like, a ton of them. It shouldn't take too long. We'll, we'll see. Oh, yeah, I just run around the other side. That'll work. I've built chairs before, guys. I know what I'm doing. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Episode 5, Be Reverent. The next video I got coming at you guys, we're going to do a long-awaited quest. It's about time I get this going. So look forward to that, and I'll see you next time.